Cowboys 27 meters Matt York of the Dallas Cowboys, led by owner Jerry Jones, center, take a knee prior to the national anthem prior to an NFL football game against the Arizona Cardinals, Monday, September 25, 2017, in Glendale, Arise. AP photo Matt York by Brandon George, staff writer at DMN underscore George Jerry Jones DIDNT build a reputation as the most powerful NFL owner by backing down. That's neither the avenue he followed throughout his career to reach the Pro Football Hall of Fame in August nor the path he took Tuesday with his hardline stance on how the Cowboys should handle the national anthem. Jones strongly reiterated on his radio show on KRLD FM 105.3 the fan that Cowboys players won't play if they disrespect the flag during the anthem. If you do not honor and stand for the flag in the way that a lot of our fans feel that you should then you won't play, Jones said. That's nothing new as far as that being my wish or want for the Cowboys. As to whether or not I will institute or do what I said I would. I would ask anybody to look at my record relative to what I say I'm going to do, and go from there. Jerry Jones has put himself and his Dallas Cowboys at the epicenter of an ugly partisan divide. Jones is the first NFL owner to publicly make a stand about disciplining players who kneel during the anthem. His comments have elicited a firestorm of reactions from the sports world, the White House and civil rights leaders. The NFL responded Tuesday by saying the issue will be addressed during the league's regularly scheduled foul meetings October 17-18 in New York. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell sent a letter to all 32 teams Tuesday that made his desires clear. Like many of our fans, Goodell's letter stated, We believe that everyone should stand for the national anthem. The letter, which was obtained by the Dallas Morning News, told owners the league has developed a plan to move past the debate about player protests. We live in a country that can feel very divided, the letter began, sports, and especially the NFL, brings people together and lets them set aside those divisions, at least for a few hours. The current dispute over the national anthem is threatening to erode the unifying power of our game, and is now dividing us, and our players, from many fans across the country. The uniform approach Goodell wants to end controversy by enacting a uniform approach to the anthem. He didnt include details on how he intends to ensure all players stand for the anthem but wrote it would include such elements as an in-season platform to promote the work of our players on these core issues, and that will help promote positive change in our country. No Cowboys players have knelt during the anthem, but that didnt stopped Jones on Sunday night after a home loss to Green Bay from putting America's team front and center in what has become a national dialogue about patriotism, social injustice and racial inequality. The NFL's protest issue began a year ago and then 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick chose to sit and later take a knee during the anthem to denounce police brutality against African Americans. Since then, dozens of NFL players have followed suit. On Tuesday, Jones said this is a workplace issue for the Cowboys. I don't want there to be any misunderstanding as to where I want the personnel for the Cowboys to be when we're at the number one workplace we have, which is the field and the sideline on game day, Jones said. I want to do everybody a service, as I should in leading the team, and let's be really clear about what our expectations are. Jones can legally outline policies and procedures for his employees, according to local attorney Chad Baruch, a First Amendment expert who focuses on constitutional and appellate law. He's a private employer, so he's free to make any rules he wants that infringe on free speech, Baruch said. He's totally unconstrained legally. The First Amendment protects your right to have opinions against government intrusion, not to exercise that right at work. No discipline imposed Ron Jenkins sap the Dallas Cowboys and staff stand on the sideline during the playing of the national anthem before the first half of an NFL football game against the Green Bay Packers on Sunday, October 8, 2017, in Arlington, Texas. AP photo Ron Jenkins The NFL's game operations manual dictates that players must be on the sideline for the anthem and should stand at attention. The league doesn't outline policies for disrespecting the flag, as Jones warned, but does allow for discipline should players not be on the field during the anthem. That discipline includes fines, suspensions, and or the forfeiture of draft choices. The league has chosen not to impose any discipline on players who don't stand for the anthem, however. Jill Lockhart, the NFL's executive vice president of communications, tread lightly Tuesday when discussing comments made by Jones in recent days. Jerry Jones Why I'm requiring Cowboys respect flag, how it removes our players from anthem debate It's somewhat of a moot point because all of their players have stood, Lockhart said on a conference call with reporters. Lockhart said the NFL could make changes to their anthem policy at next week's league meetings.
A local union filed a charge in Fort Worth on Tuesday against the Cowboys and the NFL claiming that they are violating the National Labor Relations Act of 1935 in the anthem dispute. The law is the law. And it's against the law to threaten someone's job, said Wade Rathka, chief organizer of Local 100 of the United Labor Unions. Mr. Jones is way, way, way out of line here. And he needs to get back in his lane. The Fort Worth office of the National Labor Relations Board will assign an agent to contact Cowboys management to investigate the charge. If there is merit, it'll issue a formal complaint and the case can be brought before an administrative law judge if there is sufficient evidence. President Donald Trump over the last month has called on NFL owners to fire players who do not stand for the anthem. The politics intensified Sunday when Vice President Mike Pence walked out of the 49ers Colts game because more than 20 San Francisco players knelt during the anthem. Jones said he's a friend of Trump's but doesn't agree on many, many matters. I'm really, in practice, apolitical, Jones said, but I really can't afford to be when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys and my number one job. Not a patriotism test in Tuesday, civil rights activists and community leaders expressed disappointment in Jones for his declaration that Cowboys players won't be allowed to play if they don't stand during the anthem. The Rev. Jesse Jackson said he has great admiration for Jones but believes the Cowboys owner is wrong to tell players they have to stand during the anthem. This is not a patriotism test, Jackson said. The issue isnt about the flag. The issue is about racial disparities. He must not step beyond his boundaries. I don't think it's right for the owners to threaten the players. We're all fighting to be free people and make choices. He should not feel comfortable wielding that kind of power. Yes, the Dallas Cowboys are the private property of Jerry Jones, and he has the right to make his own rules about his players kneeling during the national anthem. But most of the African-American players come from places where they have experienced first-hand racial injustice. Jackson said he planned to call Jones on Tuesday evening to express his dissatisfaction and would also like to speak to all 32 NFL owners next week during the league meetings. Jackson said he hopes the NFL protests continue. Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price said he's not surprised Jones has told his players to stand during the anthem or sit out the game. It's Jerry's world, Price said. When they own you, that's what they do. Price, one of Dallas' most prominent black politicians, said the players who took a knee during the anthem were showing that they could really see the mistreatment of people of color in America. What the players are saying, in some uniform position, is that they can see, Price said. And so, Jerry issues an order that says, Slaves, obey your master. The NAACP released a statement lashing out at Jones as well. Jerry Jones' comments are more than tone deaf, more than misinformed and misguided. They are a public commitment by an NFL owner to violate his players' constitutional right to free speech, one of the principles on which our nation was founded, said Tony Covington, the NAACP's senior director of corporate affairs and a former NFL safety. After the anthem, Vernon Bryant staff photographer Dallas Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones waves to the fans before a game between the Dallas Cowboys and Denver Broncos at Sports Authority Field in Denver on Sunday, September 17, 2017. Vernon Bryant, the Dallas Morning News Cowboys defensive lineman DeMontre Moore and David Irving raised their fists Sunday, but coach Jason Garrett said the symbolic act came after the anthem. He said it was a private matter and the players won't be disciplined. Jones was asked Tuesday what does disrespecting the flag mean? I think you all know it when you see it, Jones said. Jones previously said he's never told players they must stand for the anthem and instead has asked them to stand. Jones was involved with the club's decision two weeks ago before the game at Arizona to kneel and pray on the field before the anthem and go to the sideline and stand arm in arm during the anthem. Jones said he believes his decision now to go public with his stance that players must stand for the anthem will help remove the Cowboys from the debate. I want the players to have the ammunition to tell anybody that asks them to do anything otherwise or demonstrate during that period of time, Jones said, that, I don't get to play if I do that. Staff writers Yuri Epstein, Naomi Martin, David Moore and Sabrina Rice contributed to this report.